study deals with monitoring of polybrominated diphenyl ethers or PBDEs in the informal sector. So this study was an offshoot of our initial study on uh, uh, polybrominated diphenyl ethers because the chemical engineering department uh, contacted me to be involved with the study because I'm doing uh, environmental monitoring of POPs. And uh, D and R, E and B, together with UNIDO, had a project on uh, national inventory of POPs. This is to help uh, the government address the problems, uh, environmental problems on uh, POPs. POPs stand for persistent organic pollutants. These are man-made chemicals. They cannot be degraded. They bioaccumulate, meaning if they enter the living system, they accumulate, let's say, crabs, have residues of these chemicals in their body, if the crabs are eaten by fish, the fish will have higher residues. If fish are eaten by man, man will have higher residues. If you continue to be exposed to the chemical, you just ingest and ingest. And if it reaches a certain level, it will mimic certain hormones. They target the very sensitive uh, systems in the body, like the reproductive system, the central nervous system. And since they are not degradable, they can become a very serious threat to humans. Uh, the general or the overall inventory process um, intends to inform the Environmental Management Bureau, the DNR. Uh, we also intend to inform, the, of course, the Stockholm Convention, where the Philippines is one of the signatories or one of the parties who signed the Stockholm Convention. Stockholm Convention is a gathering of heads of the environmental section from different countries signing an agreement to stop or to regulate the production of the persistent organic pollutants. In a way, uh, we expect that uh, more uh, effort will be done in terms of monitoring the quantity of PBDE and to assess whether the people, especially those in the dumping sites, are vulnerable or at risk of these uh, hazardous chemicals.